Hey there, welcome to Sunday School. Today is August 23rd of 2020, and it is the 12th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's start off with our general prayer for morning out of the Lutheran Book of Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, so today let's continue with Lutheranism 101 for Kids. And I wanted to talk about who is God and what is he like? For his student day presentation, Michael nervously walked to the front of the classroom. He cleared his throat. I'm Michael Schmidt, and people call me Mike. I live with my mom and dad, my younger brother, who always hugs me, and two dogs. My favorite sports are soccer and basketball. My favorite food is chocolate cake. When Michael told the class about himself, he told his name and also some things that he enjoys, like sports and sweets. He's also the oldest child in his family. In the same way, when we read the Bible, we find out more about God and what he's like. God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is the Father who made us, the Son, Jesus, who died to save us from our sins, and the Holy Spirit who gives us faith. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, and yet there are not three gods, but one God, and this is from the Athanasian Creed. One term for God is the Holy Trinity. He is three persons, but one God. He is three in one. A triangle is sometimes used as a symbol for God as the Holy Trinity. A triangle has three sides, but it is only one shape. This is similar to the concept of the Holy Trinity, three persons, one God. Knowing God's names gives us some information, but the Bible tells us so much more. God is all powerful. He can do anything. God is always present. He's everywhere. He is not limited by space or time. God is all-knowing. He knows everything that has ever happened in the past and will ever happen in the present and future. So God is mighty and powerful. And this could be a scary thing if we didn't also know that God is good and kind. God loves us and he cares for us. God is also eternal. He always has been and always will be. There never was a time when God did not exist. God never changes. People change, but God is always the same, kind and good. As we discuss who God is, we also think about who we are. God is our creator. We are his creatures. God made you to be who you are at this time in this place. And God, your creator, loves you. All right, so let's do our Apostles' Creed. We're going to do it once in English because our congregation speaks English. And then we're going to do it again in German because Martin Luther translated it into German initially so that the people who were in his congregation would know what they were saying. All right. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now, in German. Ich glaube an Gott, den Vater, den Allmächtigen, den Schöpfer des Himmels und der Erde, und an Jesus Christus, seinen einen geborenen Sohn, unseren Herrn, empfangen durch den Heiligen Geist, geboren von der Jungfrau Maria, gelitten unter Pontius Pilatus, gekreuzigt, gestorben und begraben, hinabgestiegen in das Reich des Todes, am 13. Tage auferstanden von den Toten, aufgefahren in den Himmel, er sitzt die Rechten Gottes, des allmächtigen Vaters. Von dort wird er kommen, zu richten die Lebenden und die Toten. Ich glaube an den Heiligen Geist, die heilige christliche Kirche, die Gemeinschaft der Heiligen, 
Vergebung der Sünden, Auferstehung der Toten und das ewige Leben. Amen. All right, I hope that you have a great week and I will see you next Sunday.